explain yourself. When it's all said and done, you're going to have to explain yourself. You're going to have to explain yourself. However, however you look at it, I don't care if, if you, I don't care what religion you are or you're not. You're going to have to explain yourself. Period. Whether you have to explain yourself to your children, to your mama, to your daddy, to your grandfather, to source truth to your ancestors, whoever, to your spirit tribe, you're going to have to explain yourself. Because no matter what you do, no matter what you do, no matter how you think you hide in it, no matter how you think you hide in it, it's going to shed. The light is going to be shed on the darkness that's within you. You're going to have to explain yourself. That's a whole word. That's a whole word. I'm about to write that down in one of my cards. I'm going to write that down as one of my cards. Remember that because I felt the energy behind that. It's been an hour and 20 minutes. I'm going to go. Um, I'm going to go hang out with my kids. And release some of this energy. Any final messages, Spirit? Okay. So pretty. The Wind of Warrior card. Your souls are wounded and that's okay. Express it. And release it with me. Express it and release it with me. Express it and release it with me. Stillness is calling. This is a card of meditation, quiet time, relaxation, peace. This is a card of, this is the queen of cups. Um, You know, emotions. Address your emotions with spirit. I school. Address your emotions with me. I feel like this deck is not necessarily a love, a love naturally. It's a love naturally deck that I'm creating, but this is a, a, a source truth, the source truth edition, the mother earth and source truth edition. Address your woundings. With me. Source truth. Mm -hmm. 
address your emotions, address your, your, your depression that you have brought through many lifetimes. You may have brought those, brought those depressions through, you know, some of your ancestors. Some of y'all may be, you know, um, tapping in and new and have brought some of these, these, um, disasters, uh, from your ancestors because you're, you're starting your altars and you don't necessarily, um, know to call in higher vibrational ancestors and, and you don't know to put healing items on your altar. You know, if you're working with, um, you know, newer ancestors, ancestors that may be like your grandparents that may have, he, may have died from terminal illness or grandparents that, you know, um, died, um, by violence and they lived a certain lifestyle that wasn't all that positive but you have them on their on your altar um ancestors that that hung on and and clinged on and had hard heavy attachment to unhealthy vices you don't know to put healthy healing things on your altar you just know well that's what they like so i'm gonna put it in the altar put it on the altar to bring you know that energy in not realizing you're putting it on the altar bringing in their energy but you're also bringing in bringing in their disease their addictions and that it's, it's latching on to you so release those release those because for me anything that my ancestors want to eat that was unhealthy, I don't always put it on the altar for them. If I know, if I have a, a issue or whatever, or if I know I don't, I might not need that because I don't want to take on that energy because I used to smoke and I don't want that energy around me. So therefore, y'all going to have to either, I'm going to have to, you know, tighten myself up and real get firm and strong and, and really you know, let go of certain vices for real, for real, or I'm going to have to, hey, y'all want, y'all want nicotine? No. How about we put these, these healing herbs on, on here? How about we, you know, switch it up and put a little, you know, a little, um, you know, marijuana in here to, to level it out. Like y'all can't get a cigarette. I'm sorry. Like y'all can't get that. The only the only time I really like to use tobacco on my altar is when I'm I'm calling in natives and I'll put tobacco on there or I'll light up um some some cigarettes or whatever and just let it smoke or I'll you know blow it blow the um smoke out into the atmosphere or, or something like that. But once again, I've worked on on addressing my vices. So if that's you. And you, you done brought ancestral energy through your altar. Be mindful of what you put on your altar. Even, like I say, even though your ancestors like some of these things, these things aren't always healthy. These things are, aren't always healthy. And if you, you're a beginner, you'll start feeling like, well, shit. Am I going to do this or am, should I do this or should I do that? And it's not for you. It's just the energy that, that you're feeling. You, you lit up the, you, you activated your altar and now you don't know, you don't know how to deal with your altar. So I would suggest working with, um, ancestors that, that are more, that are more, more healing and more, more that have kind of been in the, in the, the, the spiritual world you know for for a little longer than than um your most immediate ancestors um anything else And please, anybody that, that's watching this now or in the future, please miss me with saying what's false and what's inaccurate. I'm letting I'm letting specific people know how my journey went. I was specifically told to put healing herbs, healing things on my altar space. 
especially as I healed through certain things. Literally, I just said that I smoked, so spirit didn't want me to put, you know, certain things on my altar when I first started. Come on now. Like, these, this is, these are my tips and seeds of wisdom for other people that may need it. And I don't care what books you done read. I don't care what shamans you done spoke to. I don't care about none of none of that. Like that was that may have been for you and that may have hit for you, hit your spirit for you. But what was told to me specifically hit for me. I'm just saying. I'm just gonna put that out there. Because people be like, well, this and this, and oh, they did this and then it is, and I can put whoever on my altar. Okay. Kudos. Yep. Going back. Hey. Spirit is calling you to walk away. Walk away from that fast living. We're back at it again. That fast living. Just jumping off of cliffs blindly, thinking it's okay to make this fast money or to live a certain way. Just not thinking it through. Just fast living. Walk away from fast living. Walk away from fast living. Think it through. Three of Wands. Think it through. Think it through. Think it through. You might be, you might be successful. <laughs> you might be very successful. But think it through. You moving too fast. I'm hearing you moving too fast. Is the glitz and the glamour and whatever you've attained. You moving too fast. The hermit. Retreat. Go within. Seriously, retreat, go within. King of Wands in reverse, you move into literally the chariot in reverse. You're moving too fast. You're moving way too fast. You're moving too fast. Slow down. Justice. 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 Spirit is calling judgment. Not me. Not Kristen. Not Yaffa. Not Yaffa. Spirit is calling judgment. Seven of Wands. Let go of your defenses. I'm not saying this for you to be you know, so hard up and, and for not, so you won't take the message, but you are a little, lit, literal warrior. You're a warrior. You're a warrior. Shit, you think you just hard for no, like for no real, true, pure reason. You just think you hard just to live a certain street life. You think you courageous just to live a certain street life. Like, come on. Just to tote guns and say, I wish a motherfucker would. I'd run up and whatever y'all say. <laughs> whatever y'all say. <laughs> I'm so fucking corny. But seriously. Um, that's all I really got. Um, I'm going to close my vessel asking any Anybody that had a message, I asked for my vessel back. I asked to call my energy back to me. The energy of calling your energy back to me, giving thanks. Um, Uh, I made a new batch of Royal Earth Oil and Royal Earth Spray. Um, 
this is specifically um, designed or specifically for the wounded warrior, for, you know, men or women that uh, lived a certain street life. These are, this is also specifically for the victims, if you're a victim. And I literally um, put affirmations that anybody that crosses you, if the crosses the recipient of this protection spray will suffer until they until they repent until they address their pure hearts until they sit with source truth and have they have that meeting with source truth about what they've done to you the recipient of this spray will suffer so this is is potent energy I, um, it's potent energy. The oil is, um, the same type of oil, same type of use. You can use this during meditation, during prayer. You can use it for grounding. Um, you can use both of them for grounding. You can use, um, the oil if you've been through heartbreak, any type of depression, any type of grief, any type of trauma, it can kind of just age you and soothe you. I um, prayed over this with uh, different protection psalms, different psalms of love, of the actual book of the Bible psalms. Um, I, I um, yeah, spoke psalms over this oil. Um, it's really dope. It's really dope. I did, um, I created a protection grid around this oil, like my own personal protection grid. I also pulled specific cards, like Spirit had me doing a whole ritual for this oil. And I pulled specific um, different cards for the different elements. I set up the, um, earth, the, the different elements, fire, water, earth, air, around um, both protection spray and the um, oil and I actually pulled cards symbolizing what spirit needed um, to bring out for um, the recipient of this oil uh, it's just it's dopeness guys dopeness it's both of them are made of tree elements um, so you can get in contact with me if you're interested in this love naturally um, love naturally 47 at gmail.com or if you're on Facebook you can message me either on my personal page or my um, love naturally page you can message me um, and like I said tree elements of magnolia to start with walnut a pine tree um, no sycamore this time. No sycamore. Walnut, pine. Walnut, pine, magnolia. What else? I think that's it for this. I don't think I added any others. But there's lavender in here. There's fruits in here. There's abundance of crystals in here. Um, rose quartz, um, amethyst. We have our um, citrine in here. Um, citrine. Um, what else? Selenite, um, obsidian, like tourmaline. Um, what else is here? A lot of lot of citrine. Um, yeah. It's just some goodness, guys. Goodness in a bottle, healing in a bottle. It's so much. So much. And I I sometimes I'll I'll draw like a blank and I have to kind of think because I'll I make all batches aren't the same. They sometimes, they'll sometimes have the same tree elements in it, like those same bases, but then I'll incorporate other, other trees. Lavender is in it. Thank you. <laughs> I'll um, incorporate other, other elements as I'm, I'm led to, led to go. 
but so so they're all different so i, I don't want to get them mixed up get each batch batch mixed up but just goodness in a bottle guys um i made both of them during this this past Lionsgate energy and they've been sitting and waiting and brewing and just just getting good so all right guys i'm gonna go i'm gonna go enjoy the rest of my sunday get outside get out in nature eat some food because i have not eaten i tried to eat this morning i tried to even make me a smoothie and they like nope make sure just i want your vessel clear right now i don't want you to be heavy because when i when i eat before i give a reading i get a little tired i get sleepy or if i just you know have something other than water i get you know just kind of kind of sleepy and i don't i don't really I, i'm i like my i love my clear sentient ability so i don't always feel like i want to feel so that is it that is all this was a long one usually pro call messages are addressing you know shadow cells trying to get back to that heart space those messages are always long sometimes they may sound the same just different scenarios but the energy is not debatable it's out here switch up your frequencies admit admit um more positive things to each their own is 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 not debatable anymore there's 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 no real such thing as to each their own anymore because what y'all choosing it's not it's not beneficial for the shift what y'all choosing is not beneficial for the shift that that has to happen that's going to happen whether you like it or not, the shift is going to happen. It's going to be a, a certain type of shift that ain't no more games. Ain't no more games. So, all right, guys. There she is. Happy sunshine. Happy sunshine. Y'all see her. Happy sunshine. Happy sunshine. She real, real, like, sophisticated, ain't she? She like, mm -hmm. <laughs> I love it. Heart space. Happy sunshine. Happy sunshine. Heart spaces. All right. Love y'all. Kristen Yafayanis again. Love naturally everybody. Happy sunshine in the nighttime. And don't forget, whatever storm you're going through, it might seem like the clouds is over you. It might seem like you're going through dark times, but you're truly not let go of your toxic vices let go of your old ways and really really see that the sun is always shining even through your storm even through the nighttime the sun is somewhere shining peace